What do you think men want in terms of sex? Well, men today, they want, they want sex. Venus has no conscience. They, they say the little head thinks for the big head. I want sex, hot, raw, passionate sex. I want a girl that will rip her own clothes off. Female is just, you know, down, just get buck wild. Guys really want to get off. I don't see it that way. I think it's an animalistic uh, point of view. Get me off, okay, now let me get you off. Okay, we're done. Goodbye. Wow, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I think that a big part of why most guys are the way they are is because of how their parents brought them up. Please, Joel, do what they say. Don't throw your life away like this. In my home, sex was never talked about. My father, he didn't say anything about the penis. I remember you know, the first time I got an erection, I was like, what the hell is this? My father did try to have a talk with me. He didn't want to have it. I didn't want to have it. It was like, you know, oh, I'm glad we got that done. You know, it was like a perfunctory thing. You know, the man, yes, right, good, OK, fine, thanks. Let's get back to the game. He's out of bounds already. No, he's not. He's so His knee's out of he bounds. He fumbled the ball. My dad's a good guy, and um, I hope he's proud of us. Oh, well, wow, the coal cut the park. He definitely looks at us and wishes uh, he was a stallion <laughs> like his son. I didn't teach him anything about sex. They teach me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever we got was hereditary. I met some firemen. One tried to come on to me. I learned a lot about sex from my mom. My mom is a very sexual person. I mean, she was young, and she did have boyfriends. I mean, I didn't see everything, but from what I didn't see, I could infer. I used to hate that. As a little kid, we'd be like walking down the street, and people would whistle at my mother. I would get so mad. He still does. When it comes to my mom and sex, they don't go hand in hand, I'll say, <laughs> I'll say that. We had a little bit of talk about sex. I was 21 years old almost, uh, so this version of B story was kind of late. I told you that I felt that if you're going to have a relationship with anyone, it should be because of love and not just because of lust or yeah, sex. Exactly. He said, sex feels good, but if you love the person, it feels great. My parents just basically said, uh, wait until marriage. And that's as deep as it got. Um, I never had the old birds and bees uh, conversation with old dad. I, the only thing I can remember coming from my parents is one sort of awkward conversation with my dad where we didn't really connect. I, well, I, you I seem to think... have figured it out. Yeah, I did figure it out. <laughs> Luckily, I had a few girlfriends who, were, who didn't mind showing me. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> Wait a minute! What's happening to my special purpose? <laughs> well, when I was a kid, my mom told me that was my special purpose! And someday I'd find out what that special purpose was! Today's the day! <laughs> hey, this is like a... <laughs> I think it is perfectly clear that in sex and most other ways, uh, when we're told that we can't do something, we want to do it. Where's my daughter at? It's been said that men are dogs. Is that dog in there? I've also heard it been said that men aren't dogs because dogs are loyal and faithful. Well, I think the whole animal kingdom is inside of us. To understand anything about human males, we first can look at the primates, and in particularly at the great apes. Uh, male primates, male mammals in general, are always attempting to seek out more mating opportunities than females. Males have the opportunity to be able to inseminate dozens of females a week, uh, sometimes even a day. What he wants, biologically speaking, is to spread as many of his genes as possible into future generations. We want action. Satisfaction. Everyone needs sex. It's a way of life. Bugs do it. Everyone does it. <laughs> Everything you do in life yeah. revolves around Everybody sex. Everybody needs it. It's life. The clothes you wear revolve around That's sex. It. The car you drive. This is the uh, sin bin. Lots of loving in here. <laughs> we have all the tools and the uh, necessities. All the essentials. Top of the line clothing. We spend. Car, very important. That's what it's all about. Almost every girl I'm with here take a picture. No such thing as a nice guy. No nice guy, no such thing. There's a couple of guys that are looking for love, I think. <laughs> all the wrong places. I think that life is a lot more than just getting laid. 
My car is obviously far from a sex machine. It's just, it's just a car. It gets me from point A to B. It's nothing more. It doesn't symbolize anything. It doesn't do anything for me except uh, drive. Our reason for being here on Earth is a lot more than just getting laid. <laughs> uh, well, this is where it all takes place, right in here. Uh, we have a mirror wall over here. We can focus in on those nice little angles. Not too bad. Well, here it is, my room. Uh, nothing exciting. Uh, might be a little on the plain side, but it's my room. I don't believe in sex without love. I think that it's a great gift that, that, you can, that should be reserved for somebody that you truly love. And when I find somebody that I truly love, I'll give it to them. Until then, I'm gonna keep it in my pants. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's great. If somebody can hold out until they don't love, I think it's a great thing. Guy's gotta masturbate constantly then. Oh, without a doubt. Everybody masturbates. Don't let them fool you. I, I never masturbate in my life. This is the truth. Most guys, they you know, they play with themselves and they, I never do it. What do I think about when I masturbate? Money. I've had fantasies about um, Cindy Crawford, uh, Christy Tellington, uh, Al McPherson. I mean, let's face it. I mean, but when you're masturbating, that's what's going on. You're having some fantasy go on. Get a mental picture of that person. Two girls. Zap it in the old brain. Lesbians. And they're yours for a night. I do think that each of us respond to sex in a different way. Check it out, butt a naked chick! Cool. Yeah. Men are more visual than women, and uh, I guess Playboy is one of the examples that proves that case. Men do seem to process sex more visually. I think there probably is some evolutionary significance. The women that you see in Playboy, if we place ourselves back into the early stages of evolution, would be the type of women you would expect to be very fertile, large, productive breasts, mostly airbrushed. <laughs> You know, sure, I, it, the looks are very important to me. I can't front. I need to be physically attracted to a woman. What do I want from a woman? There's a long list. Big lips. Big lips. lips. I don't know. She's got to have a good body and take care of herself. I like them like 120 pounds, 125 pounds. Set of perkies, nice little body. If she doesn't have big breasts, that's fine. The first thing that I look for is the eyes. Green eyes are, of course, great. I was always attracted to blondes. Women are great. I think women are very attractive, but they just don't do it for me, you know? They just don't give me that feeling. We're in New York City, down at the Christopher Street Piers. If you're a gay man and you're looking to see other beautiful gay men, this is the place where you should be. All right, we're heading towards the beach. We're looking to see if uh, there's any hard bodies here on the beach. I like a girl that's tight. Lots of good looking boys out here today without their shirts on, I might add. Spanish girls all over the board, which is the plus in my book. He's amazing. Look at this man, this man here. Oh. Nice big set of jugs, firm. Mm, nipples for days. Damn. Nice little hard body. Yeah, I like her. Women, okay, neutral. You think he does steroids? No, they're not gonna make the cut. Baruch. Yes. 19 years old, doable still. Black boys are delicious. Bon Jovi, ever hear of us? 